So in today's video, I built a massive vivarium for my frogs. And uh, yeah, it was quite a bit of fun as well. So before we do get started with this build, as usual, we're going to have to collect a lot of sand. Which means we got to go all the way through the nether again and go to our other portal where it leads us to the desert. Some people did suggest that I do add some soul sand in here and get soul speed free on my boots because I think that actually could be a really good idea because this does take up a lot of time. Before we actually do mine a bunch of sand, I kind of want to figure something out. I have always wondered if this sand, when you smelt it, can turn into glass. So let me just grab a little bit of cobblestone just so we can actually make one furnace because believe it or not, I have never tried to smelt this sand. All right, so does this smell? It does smell. Hopefully it turns into glass. And a moment of truth. It does. Okay, that is perfect. That means we have so much sand around us, which is amazing. And it also looks like we're going to get loads of sticks from this. <laughs> There's so many dead bushes here. Now that we have collected a bunch of sand, I also need to collect a bunch of stone because we have actually completely run out of stone. Yes, I know, it's very hard to believe. But we are going to need a bunch of stone because I want to build an iron farm. There is a lot of endermen over there. <laughs> but yes, we need a iron farm going because we have completely run out of iron and I don't see myself mining all of the iron that is left in this cave, which is hardly any. But luckily, we do not actually need a lot of stone because it's not going to be a huge iron farm. It's actually a very simple design. I did do it very like a very long time ago in a different Let's Play and it did actually work really good. Drake forgot to record his reaction to the build, once again. So I am and may try my best to recreate what I imagine Drake was doing. What the f*** is this piece of sh so for us to actually get started with the build, I'm going to have to go and collect a bunch of more concrete. And as you can tell, I still have lost my voice a little bit. That's the reason why I've missed on a upload. But don't worry, I'm getting back into the groove of things right now. Luckily, I have plenty of sand to get loads of concrete. But the one thing I do need is gravel. So I'm going to head to the nether and hope to find a bunch of gravel. <coughs> All right, so I managed to collect most of the resources that we need, including a bunch of concrete. And also, when I was underground in the nether, I did manage to get some ancient debris, which means we can actually finally do our axe, because uh, this one's been uh, like this for a while now, and I, uh, I have no idea what I was doing, but I guess it works. <laughs> All right, so if I'm not mistaken, we go in here. There we go. Efficiency four, and boom. Perfect. Look at that. We've got full netherite tools now. And also our armor. Actually, I don't think I did do the chest plate, did I? Well, I don't know where my chest plate is. It's probably somewhere in one of these chests. I'd have to look for it. But right now, what I want to do is actually find a cave with the lush cave inside of it. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? It doesn't make any sense what I just said, but what I'm trying to do is look for a lush cave. So I'm going to wait for it to be nighttime, skip the night, and then we're going to look for a lush cave. I thought that tree was on fire for a second, but it's just our temple. Okay, so we are at the haunted mansion. Because if I'm not mistaken, lush caves spawn quite nicely in these biomes. And is that it? Yep, look at that. There's an azalea tree over there. So all we have to do is go to this tree and mine straight down. Luckily, I don't need to mine a lot because all I need is one block of moss. And then with that, I can just bone meal it loads of times to actually make loads of moss blocks. I think my game is glitched. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Perfect. Not gonna lie, for a second I thought my game glitched and that was the void. Which would have been very, very bad. And there we have it. We have finally found what we came here for. So now let's just grab a bunch of moss. There we go. And that should actually do the trick. 
All right, so now all that we actually need to do is go and get some frogs. So I think we do have a mangrove swamp over this way. Hopefully we do, because if not, we're going to have some serious, serious problems trying to get some frogs. And luckily, a friendly YouTuber by the name of Tootsie YouTube helped me out with this and told me that I need some slime balls to feed the frogs so that I can get some tadpoles. And then with a bucket, we can pick up the tadpoles and then we can put them in our enclosure. So where is the mangrove swamp? It should be close to our slime farm. There we go. Perfect. All right. Where are all the frogs? And I also need to get these so that we can actually grow some of these trees in, inside our enclosure. Okay, there's loads of frogs over here. Look at this. Perfect. All right, look at this, guys. I've got some slime balls for you. There we go. Uh, I am a bit confused. Maybe they need to be in water. So let's try with these guys and go into the water and see if that helps. Come on, guys. Everyone into the water. I think I just destroyed the eggs. Oh, no. Okay, so I think I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm trying to pick up the tadpoles as soon as they're like just eggs. So I think what I need to do is wait for them to actually grow into tadpoles and then I can pick them up with a bucket. Which means it's going to take a little bit more time. Alright, so I guess now we wait until these turn into tadpoles. Ah, there we go, finally. There we go, got a tadpole there, one there, and one there. Perfect. All right, I guess we can head home now and get started on our enclosure. I kind of like the bucket, though. It looks kind of cute with the two little eyeballs just staring at you. But before we can get started, we need to do a lot of terraforming because I'm thinking of putting it right here so that we can see it very often. I say a lot of terraforming, but we actually don't need to do too much because the ground is pretty flat as it is. But anyway, it's time to get some uh, terraforming going. Alright, so let's get started with the build. I'm going to go like quite far actually. I'm going to make it quite wide. I don't want to make it too big either because if not it will take forever for me to build it. And uh, this video is already a week late so <laughs> we don't really want it to be any later than that. So I think, I don't know how much this is but this is how wide we're going to go. Alright, and now we're going to go all the way across to here and maybe even inside the enclosure we could add some axolotls. Hello Mr. Sheep, could you move out of the way? Thank you very much. All right, so I think this is a, a decent size to start with, and I might even add something pretty cool in the middle or on the side. I am not quite sure where I want to do it yet, but I think it will turn out really nice. I'm also going to get rid of all of the leaves here, or well, the grass, because it is a bit in the way. And now I'm just going to build the frame up all the way up to the top to whatever height I want, and I think I'm probably going to go, hmm, probably like another 20 blocks high. And there we have it. This is the frame complete. All I need to do now is fill all of the sides up with a glass. And I'll probably have to go back and get a bunch more grass. Not grass, what? <laughs> I mean sand so I can get a bit more glass because I don't think I'm going to have enough. But I should have enough to actually get started. Okay, so I am quite pleased with the build so far, but I am going to want to add a ceiling because it does look a bit empty. And there's a frog that just jumped there. But yes, I think the, it looks a bit empty because I want to add like some dangling vines and even some more glow berries because I think it would look a lot nicer. Which means we do need to get a bit more stone because I only have 27 stone to my name. <laughs> 
I do not need a lot of stone for this and I'm also going to add another border of concrete around the stone just so that we can hide it and make it look a little bit nicer. So I have completed the build and I am very, very pleased with it. <clears throat> As you can see, I've added a ceiling since the last clip and I think it looks really, really nice. And also I noticed these glowberries grow so quickly, so I'll probably have to add some string to stop them from growing and also to stop the vines from growing too much. But if we head inside, I'm going to show you something that I think is pretty cool. I did also make a nice little cave and there is a frog in here protecting the beautiful little secret cave. And as you can tell, there's a few little treasures in here, including a treasure chest that is actually filled up with gold. But if we come in here, there is also some nice little water flowers, a nice little pathway and a bunch of frogs, which um, actually I'm going to try breeding again. Come here, mister. I can't grab you because you're hiding in the bush. There we go. Anymore else? Wanna get? There we go. All right, nice, look at that. Let's get loads of frogs. But now it is time for the comment of the day. So as I said, it is time for the comment of the day. And today's comment goes to Deborah Lidden. And that person said, hi, today's my birthday and I love your series. Well, thank you so much and happy late birthday, I'm guessing, because I am a little bit late <laughs> with the upload. But yes, anyway, thank you so much for the comment. And if you guys want to be on the comment of the day wall, please be sure to leave a nice little comment in the comment section below. But anyway, that's gonna be it for me today. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.